Here we go. And they're off. So they race away then, two miles and a furlong and eight flights to take. And Alexia de Nuts is the one that takes them down. Towards the first, Pentland Hills is tracking him though. The Patriot on the inside is followed by Call Me Lord in fourth place. Good jump on the wide outside there by Bally Andy, who's just trapped by Cheetah Bello, the grey gumball, and looking on Monsieur Lecoq. And being held together in front here, Alexia de Nuts, he wants to go a little bit quicker. Been off the track for nearly a year now, and Harry Cobden keeping him on an even keel as he leads the field by two lengths down towards the second flight with Pentland Hills tracking in second place. Le Patriot on the inside, flanked there by Call Me Lord, wider out then to Bally Andy. Cheetah Bello jumped it well alongside the grey gumball. And then Monsieur Lecoq at the back of the field, only about four lengths, maybe five, covering them as they race on up the hill with Alexia de Nuts, the Tolworth hurdle winner at Sandown when last seen, taking the field along with Pentland Hills, the unbeaten hurdler, the Triumph hurdle hero in second place. Just behind him is Cheetah Bello, Harry Skelton, then the Patriot, Bally Andy, with in between them, Call Me Lord and James Bowen, and at the back of the field, Gumball and Monsieur Lecoq. Going down the side of the track then towards the third flight now, Alexia de Nuts takes them along then with all of them jumping well at that hurdle. Pentland Hills defending that unbeaten record. Two lengths behind him in second place. Cheetah Bello on the outside is third. Here's the middle flight coming up to them now. Wider up and to Bally Andy with Call Me Lord on the inner. Call Me Lord, who Dick Henderson was concerned about going left handed at the moment, traveling nicely in the middle of the field with Le Patriot on his inside. And then the wider out then to Gumball in the white cap, followed by Monsieur Lecoq in the orange jacket. About to turn left-handed, and they'll race on towards the flight at the top of the hill here, which will be the sixth, and of course, three from home. Long way to go still in this Unibet International hurdle. Great two race, Alexia de Nuts still taking them along at a fair pace here. Coming up towards the next flight now. Pentland Hill's still stalking him. Cheetah Bello in third place. Close up on the outside now, the gray, Gumball, Le Patriot, and Call Me Lord sitting behind them, just waiting with Bally Andy and Monsieur Lecoq looking on at the back of the field. So now they're beginning to turn left handed and they're going to start racing down the hill a long way before they get down to the second last here. Still Alexia de Nuts tanking along in second is Pentland Hills, keeping a tight hold of him, Nico. And then Cheetah Bellows travels well, the black and pink colours alongside him. Just behind them then, Gumball together with Call Me Lord, who continues to take an impressive position in the race. Then Le Patriot on the inside, Bally Andy and Monsieur Lecoq behind them. And the second last coming up towards them now here. Alexia de Nuts the leader, and he's still travelling comfortably at the head of affairs. Also, Terry Warner's other runner, Gumball, getting into it. The meat in the sandwich there is Cheetah Bello. Pentland Hills on the inside rail is close as they turn down the hill, then towards the home straight. Not much racing room for Call Me Law behind them as Bally Andy makes a move around the outside. Le Patriot on the inside, and Monsieur Lecoq is trying to get into it as well. So, what a finish in store here. They've got a quarter mile left to go, one more flight to take. Alex Nuts taken on by Cheetah Bello, Call Me Law, and Pentland Hills. The two Henderson runners up the inside now quickening the challenge. Cheetah Bello, the leader. Here comes Pentland Hills on the outside, though. Pentland Hills joining in with Cheetah Bello and Call Me Lord as they race on up the hill. A furlong left to go. And Pentland Hills from his stable companion, Call Me Lord. They're back in third, Cheetah Bello. Bally Andy, who's got stamina, is staying on very strongly on the outside. Call Me Lord on the near side. Bally Andy, luck, bloody leg on the outside. It's going to be really tight, but Call Me Lord toughs it out and wins it from Bally Andy, back in third place then. It was Cheetah Bello, and Monsieur Lecoq ran on well to try and claim fourth.